right here we have some evidence of days gone by. The glory days of commercial fishing in Oregon. We're in a tidal area, so we're approaching high tide, probably several hours away. Now today I'm going to try some Oregon Coastal Bay duck hunting. As you can see, the water's flowing in. So there's a small current going here. Uh, I would imagine probably 45 minutes to an hour, all of this is going to be pretty much submerged. Tidal hunting is an interesting thing because uh, it's good at daylight and it's good at dark, but it's also good at certain times of the tide. Birds start moving uh, when the tide gets high and they like to come back in these grasslands here and kind of rest after they've, they've fed. This is dairy country around here. Now oh, the tide's really coming in now. It's starting to, starting to fill things in pretty nicely. As you can see, I brought the boat up and I have it situated in here. A couple of pintails pitched in a little bit too far out of range. They're just sitting there watching these decoys here. We have one coming in. Just a single. Well, wouldn't you know it? Just poured myself a cup of coffee and put my gun down and had a drive-by was able to knock her down going out to pick it up right now And pintail. Beautiful bird. Beautiful bird. First one of 2014. Today's take two pintails. What the plan is today is to uh, sit tight when the birds start coming out of the fields. They'll be flying back in to set down in the bay. Tide's starting to move in now. It's out there. Out there about a quarter of a mile. Stay. This is our first duck for the day. Nice little uh, widgeon.
to haul them in. And here's uh, four, nice widgeon. Sunny and I got today. She did a great job retrieving. It's really one of her first in the field retrieves. She uh, she ran into a few decoys, but by golly, she got them all. Beautiful birds. Okay, we'll get it. So there's some ducks out there, huh? There's some ducks out there for you. Stay. And here's today's take. Little uh, flurry right before dark. Three teal.